could we have some horses, please? Lewis and Clark got a lot of help from Native Americans. The Sioux tribe let them pass through their territory without attacking them. The Shoshones supplied them with horses to cross the Rocky Mountains. The Mandan in North Dakota and the Clatsop in Oregon let them stay on their lands and build their forts to get through two winters. Tribes supplied food, information, and guides that helped Lewis and Clark find their way to the ocean. Lewis and Clark wrote in their journals about how many of the Native Americans they met were honest, warm, and generous. Who's the savage? Americans and Europeans in Lewis and Clark's time described Native Americans as savage, meaning cruel and uncivilized. As we already saw, the tribes had very sophisticated societies, and in some ways they may have viewed the European Americans as savage. For example, they thought it was cruel that Lewis and Clark punished soldiers who broke rules by whipping them, and the Nez Perce who bathed in rivers and used sweat lodges to stay clean thought the men of the expedition were smelly. An unhappy ending. Unfortunately, the Lewis and Clark expedition was only the beginning of a long period of injustice and violence inflicted on Native Americans. Within a few years of the expedition, white settlers, railroad companies, and the U.S. Army began moving in the West and forcing Native Americans off their lands. Sometimes the Native people tried to get along with the newcomers. Other times they tried to fight to protect their lands and way of life. But there were too many whites, and they were too powerful to resist. Those who tried were often killed, and those who survived were forced to move onto reservations, often far from their homeland. <laughs>